I didn't feel like making my coffee this morning. Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing today? I hope you are having a great day! Today I wanted to talk to you about something kind of serious, that is why it is a let's have coffee because it's mental health related, but I wanted to talk to you about my experience living with borderline personality disorder. I was diagnosed with BPD the last time I went into the hospital, but I've been treated for it since I was about 13 years old, and it's one of those diagnoses where you have to be 18 in order to get it. So even though I've had it since I was about 13. I wasn't actually diagnosed up until a couple months ago. I've got the definition of BPD right here, so I'm going to read it out to you. Borderline personality disorder is the chronic ongoing instability in moods, behavior, self-image, and functioning, often resulting in impulsive actions and unstable relationships. It is very common for people with BPD to experience episodes of anger, depression, and anxiety, and it can occur alongside other disorders like depression, mood disorders, personality disorders, and psychosis. People with BPD often suffer from things like self-harm, suicidal ideation, suicidal actions, and things like substance abuse. Now I wanted to get into my personal experience a little bit more. With my BPD, I have emotional responses that are triggered by very, very minor things. For example, like when my family goes out to eat and I stay back and my mom's like, oh yeah, we'll bring you home food. So. I'll just text you when we are getting ready to leave. And I'm like, okay, cool, and I'm waiting for the text, and then I never get it, and then the next thing I know, they come home. Well, things like that can send me into an absolute mental spiral, and it's not something I really have control over, because in my head, I'm like, Riley, this is not rational, like, there's no reason for you to do this, and yet, it's something I'm doing anyway. I also have a lot of trouble differentiating between platonic and romantic attraction. That's why it takes me a long time, usually when I'm dating someone, to figure out whether I just like the attention or I just want to be their friend or if it's something more and romantic. I tend to suffer from constant mood swings. My moon goes up and down like a roller coaster all the time throughout the day. Part of that is due to my bipolar too. Part of it is definitely due to the BPD. I have suffered from self-harm in the past and it's something that I've struggled with since I was like seven years old. Not in traditional ways, but I was still doing things at that point that I didn't quite realize were self-harm. As of February 5th of this year, I am two years clean, so that is a good accomplishment, but I still suffer from frequent urges for that and frequent suicidality. And a lot of that is based due to the BPD. I have been treated for BPD with DBT, Dialectical Behavioral Therapy, for over four years. I'm currently not in treatment because my insurance changed so I don't get to see my therapist right now and I have to find a new therapist, but I've been treated for that since I was 13 years old. And I got to be in DBT groups kind of constantly for about three years. I am on medication to help treat my depression and anxiety and my BPD. I'm on some antidepressants, anti-anxiety, and antipsychotics. Living with BPD is a daily battle. Having to wake up and not know what your day has in store for you mental health wise is a very, very difficult thing to deal with. And honestly, some days are better than others. It takes a long time in order to gain stability and it's been how long and I still don't have that. But all you can do when you're living with something like this is manage and cope. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's about all I have for you. If you liked this video or found it informative in any way, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Did you know any of this about BPD before? You should definitely subscribe because I post two videos a week here on this channel. One video on Tuesdays dealing with LGBTQ plus things. It's called the trans education video. And then on Thursday, it's just kind of whatever I want. I do let's have coffees frequently on this channel. So you get more stuff like that. If you want to follow me on all of my social media to keep up with me day to day, it is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. The links to everything is in the description. If you click the two little bubbles on the screen, they will take you to subscribe to this channel and to my side channel. And the video box will take you to my last video. I love you guys lots. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on Tuesday. Goodbye.